Hey guys, this is Patrick, Stu uh, Patrick Baller for Screen Studio. Um, I've released this week, uh, this weekend, last weekend, uh, Screen Studio 3.0.2 right now. This is the current version. It does have uh, some issues and some bugs, but basically this is how it works. Uh, as you can see, I'm currently using Screen Studio to record this video. Uh, basically, the first tab does show the format that you want to uh, record or stream. If you select uh, you select your width and height by default the size of your screen, the frame rate, I do record at 10 frames per second because this machine is not fast enough. Uh, and then you select the format being a TS, FLV, MOV and MP4 or you can select a service like Hitbox, Twitch, Ustream, Vanguard, Vanga, Van Vangen Live, I don't know how to say that. YouTube, uh, generic RTMP server or the broadcast to local broadcast locally. This is for testing purpose mainly. Uh, if you select uh, an RTMP server like Headbox, uh, simply select your server and enter your secret key here and you'll be able to broadcast uh, to uh, that server in no time. So this is the output that you want to set up. Then you go in the second tab and this is where you add your source. Uh, remember, the in Screen Studio 2.0, you were actually stuck with the desktop uh, a panel, a side panel, and uh, a webcam optionally. But in Screen Studio 3.0, this is another thing now. Um, let you go in the menu sources, you pick the screen, and by default, it does set nicely in the output which is the size of uh, the, the actual output. So you have your screen here and when you select it you can see that it's be being highlighted in the preview layout. You can add an image. So let's browse for something. Um, I'm gonna go in my pictures. There we go. I have a few screenshots doesn't really matter and the screenshot is here technically you don't see it because it's at the bottom so it means that it's behind the screen so let's move it up we'll, we'll go do that from the menu but you can use the keyboard shortcut so let's move it up and then there it is by default it does show by 200 by 200 pixels uh, you can move it around if you select it here just by dragging the source you can set it wherever you want it to show and you can adjust manually also the location let's say okay I don't want to have that location I want to have at X then the value X in the on the X axis the Y axis the width and the height of uh, the image and the alpha value for the transparency one being it's not transparent at all, zero meaning that it is transparent. So if I go here, uh, again in the sources, you can add your webcam. Again, it's behind. I'm going to use a shortcut this time. I can move it up and drag it wherever I want. Uh, you can have also text labels. Let's move it up. Uh, there we go. On the top of everything. Let's move it around. Can you find the size of that label? Let's say I'm going to make it a little bit wider. Uh, 600. There we go. Let's move it around. We'll put it there. And let's edit te the text. I'm double clicking on the uh, text and you have the new label. Uh, basically supporting HTML but uh, you can basically simply enter this is screen studio like that select the foreground color uh, let's pick I don't know this one and then simply close that so you see that the new text is here and right click on the preview and click start preview I'm gonna remove the webcam because it doesn't work on uh, that computer this is a MacBook and the webcam simply doesn't work so I'm gonna remove it okay, let's, let's click start preview and there we go we have 
the desktop, the screenshot here, and the text here, uh, which is actually overlapping behind. So it's kind of a uh, strange to see that like that, but it gives you an idea of what's currently happening. And you click Stop Preview to stop the preview. Once that done, you need to go in the options. You select your input audio uh, microphone. You can use also uh, in the system audio input. To, and if you select both of them, you will record uh, a mixed uh, virtual microphone combining both of them. You can add or remove an audio delay uh, if uh, for some reason your webcam and doesn't match the microphone so uh, in my case I do have to set one second ahead to make sure that audio will sync is in sync with the video and you can select your output folder for your videos <coughs> wherever you want in my case it's in the same folder as uh, screen studio in, the, in, in this example and then once that done you go in layout, click save, and it will save that file, that configuration into a new file. So let's pick example.xml, click save, and go here back. I'm gonna load the default. I pressed Control O for open. This is what I use currently, or almost I didn't do a few modifications and I can go back and reopen the example and there we go everything is back where it was so this is how you use uh, Screen Studio 3.0 with the sources and the videos uh, more features will be added with time um, currently kind, kind of making sure everything works perfectly uh, when recording with Screen Studio 3.0 and streaming does work and then I'll have more and more features. Uh, one neat tri uh, trick I added is if you double click on the icon, there's no uh, sub menu there anymore. Just double click to stop and start the recording. Um, and you also, I forgot to mention, you can remove the selected source. Let's say I want to remove that one. I go here, remove it, it's gone simply save and everything will be uh, as it was. Uh, I do have currently an issue with multiple screens. It seems that only screen one is working. I'm currently working on a fix. should be available by next week. And that's about it. That's the new screen, Studio 3.0. Hope you'll enjoy and thank you for watching. Leave your comments below if you have any ideas. Bye.